YouTubers, welcome back to Bikini Nation. Thanks again for tuning in. So today we're going to go through a big news story coming out of Laura Lee Chapados' camp Team Atlas. So they have released uh, on Instagram today a bit of a statement. I'm going to read through it right now. Everyone's asking to see how Laura Lee looks. We decided for this show we won't be posting any physique updates to one day out. Totally different Laura Lee coming in next week. We followed the exact feedback from the judges and she looks so much better this way. Leaner, more balanced, symmetrical and dense. So let's think about that feedback. So feedback she's gotten from the judges to come in leaner, more balanced, symmetrical and dense. And we look at the likes of Issa, she recently won the Tampa Pro after her results from Olympia in 2020. She didn't place very well there and she was a lot bigger. She took on that feedback. She's coming more conditioned, smaller, and she took out Tampa Pro. And we look at Daraja as well. We know she's got a little frame, a small waist as well. She comes in really conditioned. She came in second at Tampa Pro as well, ahead of Laura Lee and Jen. And at the time, they were looking bulkier, more muscly, more musclier than Issa and Daraja. So what does that say about the future of Bikini? So this has huge ramifications for Olympia. And as we know, the winner of Olympia really sets the standards for the following bikini season. So that will be the 2022 bikini season. The judges are saying they're wanting a more conditioned athlete, less jacked. So the perfect example of that is Issa. She's managed to do that perfectly and she has been rewarded so that goes to show it's really going to favor some athletes and hinder others what do you guys think who do you think will be the beneficiary of this and who do you think it will be a neg have a negative impact on let me know in the comments below okay let's jump back over to laura lee today team atlas did a q a where someone wrote in and asked, does she like the way she looks or does she prefer the wagon? So wagon, I'm assuming more musclier, bigger booty, but not too familiar with the lingo. So if anyone knows, drop it down in the comments below. Their response was, good question. She does prefer being a little softer and bigger, but she's doing the work to be competitive in the category. As an athlete, she does look a lot better this way. In clothes, she's significantly smaller, but in her poses, she just looks leaner and harder with much better condition. She had a decent amount of fat on her glutes still, which she no longer has, and it really helped improve her overall shape. I don't think she has lost any actual muscle tissue. So actually, she can be a little bigger and softer in the off season easily without having lost muscle. She's seven pounds lighter than Chicago right now. And I would say 100% of that is water and fat. I tried to get her this lean and small before Chicago, but her body didn't look good and she wasn't getting harder. Just more deflated and looking small. Her body is reacting like crazy now and everything is working how we want it to. She definitely has a booty though, just leaner and less wide. But the roundness is even more insane. It's an overall better bikini look, objectively. She still is very healthy and just got her period two days ago and her blood work is perfect. Okay, so let's dissect this a little bit further. We know she placed first at the Chicago Pro, where she looked amazing. She's holding a lot of muscles, she was jacked. And we all know how hard Laura Lee works. And if you don't, go and check out one of our motivational videos and you will see her work ethic. But she's seven pounds lighter now. And Chicago wasn't the same lineup as the Tampa Pro where she placed fourth behind Issa and behind Daraja. And we know how conditioned they came in. Either way, guys, I cannot wait to see 
what Laura Lee brings to Olympia. Laura Lee 2.0, more conditioned, dial in, downsize Laura Lee. We've heard what Team Atlas has to say, so we cannot wait to see the big reveal. And the question is, how is she going to measure up on the big stage at Olympia against Issa, against Jen Dory, against Daraja, against Ashley, Christo Bellina, Francesca, the list just goes on. How is she going to measure up? What is that final result going to look like? We know Janet isn't there this year. Also, Angelica isn't competing and they're always very consistent and placed consistently. So it opens up some room, some room for some other athletes. So, and I think Laura Lee, given this, has a big shot, but so do the others. That's why I cannot wait. I think it is going to be so juicy and watch this space. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe. Over and out from Bikini Nation.